What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a smart door lock made by Bosma, this is the Aegis. Now they did reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to do this review for you guys today, and I thought their product looked pretty unique, it had some pretty good features, so I wanted to share it with you guys, and I wanna thank Bosma for sending this out to me so I could do this review. Now we will be going over all the features. I'll be go going over the full installation and setup on your phone. But first, let's go and see what you get inside the box. So real quick before we go inside the box, I just wanted to go over some of the features that it has. It is capable of auto locking and unlocking. You can use your phone to lock the device. It also has the capability of using fingerprint unlock if you happen to purchase their doorbell as well. It has remote unlock, which will allow you to lock and unlock your door from pretty much anywhere in the world using uh, Wi-Fi. It has access management. It's got a AES 128 encryption door breaking detection, and it's supposed to be super simple and quick to install. So again, let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here we have our manual. Here we have the Wi-Fi gateway, which allows you to lock and unlock this with Wi-Fi, and it just simply plugs in to your wall. Super simple. It comes with four AA batteries. Here we have three adapters, which you would use for different door locks. And then here we have the device itself. It looks like we have some uh, sticky tape at the bottom. And that's pretty much it for the box. So here is the lock itself. It is surrounded by a nice uh, a metal frame. If you want to change out the batteries, you simply pop out the front piece here and then move the little foam piece, and there you can see you'd put your four AA batteries, and there's also the reset button underneath. One thing you immediately notice is how big the device is. This is pretty much how you lock and unlock your door by turning the whole device. Now this is good especially for people who don't have the uh, dexterity in their fingers anymore to maybe lock and unlock the smaller latch because sometimes it is quite hard to lock and unlock the door, and this gives you a more firm grip to unlock and lock the door manually. So that's definitely a plus. So the very first thing we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and take that piece of tape that came in the box, and basically what this tape is gonna do is, is keep your outside door lock from just falling out when we take it apart. So if your door is dirty on the top and the bottom of the door lock, I would suggest cleaning it before we put the tape on so it sticks the best. So we'll take our piece of tape, we'll put that in the middle here somewhere, and then just put that down over your door. And again, this is gonna keep the deadbolt from just falling out of the outside. Okay, so from the inside now, all we need to do is unscrew and take off the inside portion of the deadbolt. Okay, so now that that portion of the dud bolt is taken off, we're gonna go ahead and take our smart lock. We're going to lift up on these tabs on the outer side here, and we're going to take off the plate. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the two screws that we took out of the dead bolt. We're gonna take the piece that we took off the smart lock. We're gonna go ahead and put your dead bolt piece through the center here. Then we're gonna put the two screws on either side of these mounting brackets here, making sure that the base plate is in this orientation. Okay, then we'll go ahead and tighten down these screws. Now one thing to keep in mind, don't push too hard on these screws because you will end up pushing out the outer side of the deadbolt. Okay, so we want to make sure that this is kind of level on here as much as we can. Then we just need to make sure that our little center piece here is through the center of our base plate. And then just tighten down the screws a little bit, make sure you don't over tighten. Then the next thing we're going to have to do is choose the adapter that fits our little piece in the middle here. So I'm going to be using the crosses. Okay, then once you find the adapter that works for you, we're going to go ahead and fit it on there and push it all the way in 
until the little pieces on the side meet resistance. So one little quick tip that I will let you know about that I did run into, you need to make sure that you have plenty of room on the sides of this mounting bracket because if you don't, the piece, the smart lock will not be able to fit over the base plate here. So as you can see, I had to use some shims. I put some uh, pieces, little thin pieces of wood behind the, the, the base plate to bring it more forward to clear this little edge that I have here. Another thing that you want to notice that these little adapters, they have a thick piece and then they have a little thin piece on the side. Make sure that that corresponds with the back of the smart lock. And I'll show you here. On the back of the smart lock, there is a thick side and then there's a small side. So just, just make sure that that lines up with the little adapter there. So once that happens, we'll go ahead and put this on. We'll lock down the little uh, bars on the side. And then as you can see, you can turn it to lock the door. And I'll open the door to show you. Okay, so once your smart lock is all installed, all we need to do is pull off the front cover here. We'll go ahead and put in all of our batteries. Once you put them all in, you should see this little LED light up white to let you know that it is powered on. Once you notice that it is ready and powered on, we'll go ahead and put the front plate back on. And then we'll go ahead and go over to our phone and install the app. Okay, so here we are on an Apple iOS device. We're gonna go ahead and go into the App Store. Then we're gonna go ahead and search for Bosma. We'll go ahead and download that. And then once it's done, we'll go ahead and open it. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and register a new account. Once you're done registering, you go ahead and log in. Okay, so now once we're in the app, we'll go ahead and click on Add Device. We'll go ahead and pick the Aegis at the bottom here. Okay. It asks you to open the front cover, install the batteries. We'll, we'll go ahead and long press the reset button until the indicator lights turn red, and then wait till the lights turned off and press next. So we'll go ahead and open this up. We'll hold in the reset button. As you can see, the lights are turning red. We'll go ahead and release. Wait till they turn off. Okay, then we'll go ahead and go back into the app and press next. It's connecting to the device. Go ahead and put the cover back on. It's adding the device. Okay, it's added successfully. You can go ahead and name the door lock if you want to. We'll go ahead and calibrate. Okay, so now all we need to do is choose the way that the door opens in your home, which I've already selected on the right-hand side here. Then we'll click Next. Okay, close the door. It says after fully closed, continue to the next step. It's fully closed, so we'll hit Next. Okay, so now we need to turn the smart lock to the unlock position very gently, making sure not to force anything. Okay, it's unlocked. We'll go ahead and click next. Okay, now we need to open the door wide enough to where we can actually walk through it. Okay, so now that we've done that, We'll go on to the next step. Okay, so now we need to close the door. Okay, so the door is now closed. So now we need to turn the knob so it locks the door. Again, do it very carefully. Don't force anything. Okay, so now it's locked. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and unlock the door again. Click Next. Okay, so now that the calibration is complete, we can go ahead and click on the device. There is a firmware update, so we'll go ahead and update now. Okay, so once the firmware update is done, we'll go back. We'll go ahead and click on the door lock. Okay, so now we need to pair up the gateway, so we'll go ahead and click on the settings button in the top right hand corner. We'll go ahead and scroll down to Wi-Fi Gateway. So now we need to go ahead and pair the gateway. So now all we need to do is plug in the gateway. Okay, so here's our gateway. All we need to do is plug it into the wall outlet. 
you'll see the red LED turn on. And then we'll go ahead and hold in the Bluetooth pairing button at the top. You'll see the little blue LED start to blink. We'll go back to our app. Okay, then we'll go back to our smart lock. We'll go ahead and hold in the power button in the middle here. Okay, so as you can see, pairing is successful. Now we'll go ahead and go into network configuration. Make sure that your phone is on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi. We'll go ahead and put in the password for your Wi-Fi. We'll click next. Okay, network configuration successful. There is an update, so we'll go ahead and update the firmware for the gateway. Update now. Okay, so the update is successful for the gateway. Okay, so now that that gateway is installed, you can pretty much lock and unlock your door from anywhere in the world. As long as you have a cellular connection and the Wi-Fi is working at your home, you won't have any issues. So now we can go and take a look at all the features of the smart lock. As you can see in the app, the first one is activity history. This is where it will show when it was locked and unlocked and who, who it was locked by. We have your guests. You can add a guest if you want to temporarily give them access to your smart lock. Here's your Apple's guest key. You can put in your guest name and how long the key is valid for. Main button action, which is that button that I held in uh, before to pair up with the gateway. You can change basically what it does. So right now, if you press it, it switches home mode when the button is pressed. You can have it do nothing. You can have it in disarm mode or you can have it in away mode. It has auto unlock, so when you get close to your home, it knows using the GPS, and it'll go ahead and unlock the door for you automatically. We have auto lock, so we'll go ahead and lock the lock because it's already closed. We'll go ahead and turn it on. You can recalibrate door breaking sensitivity. Here you can adjust the impact sensitivity. The more sensitive, the more likely it'll detect a break-in, your Wi-Fi gateway, fingerprint device. So if you have the doorbell with the fingerprint sensor on it, you can also use it with this door lock to unlock your door. We have the name, firmware version, firmware update, a homepage display, and remove device. And as you can see, it's showing little Wi-Fi signals to let you know that it is connected uh, via Wi-Fi. So all you need to do is if you want to unlock the door, press uh, tap to unlock. And it makes a little noise, and then we can also lock it again. It seems to be working pretty good. So as you can see there, it did add the little Bluetooth signal to let you know that it is also connected by Bluetooth. And then we have the battery percentage at the top left-hand corner. So let's go ahead and check out the auto door lock. Okay, so right now the door is locked. I'll go ahead and unlock the door. I'll open it. Now again, you need to make sure that you open the door uh, wide enough for it to register. And I'll go ahead and close the door. And as you can see, it just locked. So the door won't lock until you actually close the door, which is super, because a lot of other door locks out there, they use a timer which can be annoying because if the door is still open, it locks, it's kind of pointless. Whereas here, it detects whether or not the door is open and it won't lock when the door is open. So here I'll unlock it again. I'll go ahead and open up the full way. Pretend like we walk through. I'll go ahead and close it a little bit. See if it locks. No. Bang on it doesn't lock so then we'll close it the rest of the way and as you can see it does fully lock by itself only when the door is closed so now that we're out of the app if you manually or anybody manually uh, locks or unlocks the door you will get a notification on your phone so go ahead and unlock 
as you can see the door said it's unlocked and then we'll go ahead and open the door and see what it says there So we didn't get any notification that the door actually opened, but if we go into the app itself and we go into activity history, you'll see that the door was opened and closed and locked. Okay, so it looks like you only get a notification when the door is unlocked. Other than that, you have to go in and check the activity history to see whether or not the door was opened or locked again. So another really cool thing that I found out that I didn't see mentioned in the manual is the fact that it works with Amazon Alexa. So all you need to do is go into your Amazon Alexa app. You're going to go ahead and go click on more, skills and games. Then we're going to search for Bosma. Click search. And the first one is the one that you're going to want. You're going to go ahead and enable the skill. Once you're done enabling the skill, you're going to need to uh, search for your device and make sure that it finds it and adds it to the Alexa app. Once that's done, you can go into your devices. We'll go into locks. Click on the door lock. Then we'll go into settings. Now you need to make sure that the unlock by voice is turned on and we're going to have to uh, create a code for it to unlock and then make sure enabled is checked at the bottom then once you're done you can go ahead and use your amazon alexa unlock back door what's your voice code for back door one two three four unlocking hang on The back door is unlocked. Lock the back door. Locking. Hang on. The back door is locked. Is my back door locked? Checking. Hang on. The back door is locked. So that's pretty cool if you want to use Amazon Alexa to lock, unlock, and make sure your door is locked. Now the auto lock feature is a pretty cool idea. Just make sure that you, if you have it turned on, that you don't leave your house without either your key or your phone because once it auto locks, you won't be able to get in if you don't have one of those things. Something else I found out is that if you have the auto lock feature turned on and you unlock your lock, if you don't open the door, because you decided you don't want to go outside, you don't need to touch the lock. It will automatically lock itself after a certain period of time. So it looks like after about 15 seconds, if you don't unlock the door, it will automatically lock itself. Okay, so now we're gonna test the door break-in feature. As you can see, I have my sensitivity set all the way up just so we can test it. I'm gonna bang on the door and we'll see if we get a notification. So as you can see, we got a notification and there's also alarm going off on the door lock itself. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how the appless guest keys work. Now these are pretty cool. Again, you don't have to install the app. You basically get a link and a code and then the web page acts as the key. So we'll go ahead and go into the appless guest keys. As you can see, I've already added one, but I'm gonna go ahead and add one again to show you how it works. So we'll click on new access code. Okay, so you're gonna put in the guest name. So when the door unlocks, you can see in the activity uh, history who unlocked the door and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and we'll put in test. Put how long you want the key to be valid for. You can do days or hours. So we'll go ahead and do one day. 
and then we'll click on new access code. So as you can see here, it gives you the link and the access code itself. So if you want to send it to somebody, you just click copy. Now, whoever has this link with the, the code can use the key. So it's not set to any one person. So if you share this with more than one person, more than one person will have access, but it will only show the one name uh, that opened up the door. So I would only make this for one person if, if you can. So we'll go ahead and click copy. Okay, it's copied to clipboard. Then we'll go ahead and go, like I said, you can either uh, send it in an SMS or an email. I'm gonna just go ahead and um, open it in the web browser. Then we need to go ahead and put the access code in. So we'll go back to that and we'll copy the access code. And we'll put that in there. And then we'll click Submit. And then here, as you can see, it, it looks pretty much just like the app does. Now, you do have to be connected by either Wi-Fi or cellular on your phone for this to work. And also, the Boseman needs to be connected to a Wi-Fi as well. So we'll go ahead and click Tap to Unlock. As you can see, it unlocked the door, and then we'll click it again to lock. and it locks. Now this does have a limited amount of time uh, before you have to put the access code back in again so it won't just stay on the web page. If you leave this and you come back, you might have to put in the access code again, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're gonna see how the auto unlock feature works. Now for this to work properly, you're going to need your phone's GPS to be on as well as your Bluetooth and you're going to have to allow the Bosma app to actively work in the background as well as have full permissions for your GPS. And then all you need to do is go into the Bosma app, make sure the auto unlock is turned on and your home location is set. So now once you leave your house and you go a certain distance away from your home, you will get a notification that the Bosma lock will unlock when you return home. And that's how you know that the unlock feature will work when you get home. If you don't go a certain distance, it won't recognize that you've left your home and it won't unlock when you come back. Now the same thing goes for when you return home. It will give you a notification that you've returned home or returned into the little bubble area of your home and it will unlock the door. So at this point I just got into my garage and I got a notification that the door did unlock for me. One thing that you have to keep in mind if you do have the auto lock feature on the lock will automatically lock itself if you don't get to the door in time. So once you get home you need to go right to the door to open it because if you don't it will auto lock itself again. Okay, so now the middle button on the Bosma door lock does do a couple different things, but it only works if you have the Bosma cameras connected with the Bosma lock. Now, if we want to change that button action, we go into the app here to the main button action. We'll change that action. And there's a couple different things that you can choose. One is do nothing. The other one is away, which turns on all cameras and enables motion detection on all cameras. They recommend this for when you're leaving your house. Now there's also disarmed. This turns on all cameras and disables motion detection on all cameras. They recommend you use this when you wanna be free from notifications. And then we have home, which turns off all cameras and disables motion detection and sound detection on all cameras. They recommend this when you're returning home. Now you can also lock and unlock your door by pressing this little button here. So we press it one time, it turns green and it un unlocks your door. And then if you want to lock it, you just press it again. Now, if you're wondering what happens if the batteries die in the door lock, you don't have to worry. You can still use your key to manually unlock and lock the door just like you would normally. Battery life on this has also been pretty amazing. As you can see, today is April 4th, 2021, and I've been using the Bosma now for probably a week and a half. And if we take a look at the app, 
as you can see, the battery life is still at 100%. And out of all of the locking, unlocking, and testing that I've been doing with this door lock, it hasn't even made a dent in the battery yet. And these are still the original batteries. So now that I've had a chance to use the door lock now for about a week and a half, I want to give you my experience with the device itself. Now, it was super easy to install. Anybody should be able to do this probably within maybe 15, 20 minutes. It really wasn't that hard to install at all. Pretty straightforward, and you use some of the hardware that you originally had in your door. Build quality is also really good, and battery life is excellent, especially because it's only been using a regular AA batteries. It also works pretty flawlessly. Every time that I've ever unlocked it or locked it from the app, it's always responded. I've never had to, you know, push the button again to make sure that it actually worked. And the fact that it uses Wi-Fi is awesome because then you can lock and unlock the door from pretty much anywhere in the world. The auto lock feature is also a lifesaver because if you're like me, I tend to forget to lock the door sometimes. And with that auto lock, you never have to worry about that again because the door will automatically lock only when the door is closed and not just after a certain amount of time like some of the other door locks do. And the ability to send someone access to unlock and lock your door without them having to install any app is priceless because some people just don't know how to install apps and it might be a little hard for them. So this feature does make it a lot easier for them to give access to other people. Now there is one thing that I consider a con and I believe that this can ultimately be solved with a software update. But as it sits right now, if you go to lock your door with an app and the door for some reason jams and the, the lock doesn't actually go all the way into the door jam, it won't notify you that the door is locked. It just, it just says in the app that it's been manually locked. So if you're not home, you really won't know if the door locks or not. So again, it's just something I wanted you to be aware of, but I think can be solved with some software update. Now I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.